Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nora Bustani Jost and I am a Cushing's disease survivor. <laughs> doctor this is not a medical professional telling you anything this is just me talking about my own life so if you're looking for medical advice please be a professional mm. it has been about three months since I made these I have not been feeling great I'm gonna be honest with you guys I have not been feeling great but I have a couple different videos I'm gonna film today and we're gonna see how that all goes but hopefully I can get some stuff out there for you guys um so the first video is where am I now um, I'm doing okay. I'm not a year post-op yet. Um, I have lost to this day 17 pounds. I'm planning my wedding, so that's cool. Uh, where's everything? Let's see, the stretch marks, uh, they have faded a lot, but they're still there. I'm trying out cocoa butter and seeing if that helps. I've heard that helps minimize the look, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll get a tattoo over them. We'll see. Swelling is definitely down. I don't know if you guys can tell from my face, but I have only lost 17 pounds and I feel like an incredible amount less swelling. Like I look more my weight. Before I started out at 235 and I just felt like I looked huge. Like my stomach was always way out here. And now like still got some little chubs, some little fat on me, learning to love that. That's hard, but working on it. But it doesn't feel, I don't feel like everything is centered here. I feel like I'm more evenly distributed than I was when I had Cushing's. Um, and I am going to make a video about how I've lost the 17 pounds and what I'm doing to lose weight. So, uh, you know, if you're looking for that, it'll come out soon. Um, where, what is better? Uh, my periods are back. They're not perfect, but they're back. I have been diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, so I have both Cushing's and PCOS, which is very common. I know there's a lot of you out there that are just like me. My energy, it's definitely better, but I think that I have a hard time with like, you're healing now, like you need to take time to get better, and like instead, whenever I feel great, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go 100 miles a minute, I'm gonna get everything done, I'm gonna apply for all these jobs, and I'm gonna like roller skate and live my best life, and sometimes you can't, like you have to remember that you're still healing, push yourself and you do need to take time. I'm still very tired. My doctor says my pituitary has not fully awoken. Um, I'm like 10 months out, so <laughs> it takes time. I'm not on any steroids at this point. Um, I am on metformin and flutamide. Uh, the metformin is for the PCOS and the flutamide is for both. And I'm on a couple different supplements as well. I am taking iron and vitamin D, which I think everybody should take iron and vitamin D. After consulting with your doctor, you should take iron and vitamin D because everyone that I've known with Cushing's, not everyone, but a lot of people have had very low iron and very low vitamin D. So, and especially during the pandemic, like if y'all are like me and you're staying inside all the time because you don't want to get COVID, then <laughs> you don't have any freaking vitamin D in you. So, they're easy. I just get the chewable gummies because I'm a little butt about taking medicine. Um, where else? My hair uh, has grown back exponentially. I am able to take better care of it now, so that helps. I chopped off all of my hair when I first got sick because I couldn't take care of it, but also it was falling out in clumps. And you can see it, especially when it's wet, how thin it had gotten on top and it's definitely starting to fill out. I'm starting to feel better about my hair and it's growing a lot better. So that's all really great. Um, my skin is definitely getting a little bit thicker, but I still do have some wounds that heal slowly. So that's not fun. I, you know, I don't love that. <sighs> yeah. Um, what else? My vision is not better. 
and I think that that's something that will get better as my PCOS gets better. So I just like would love to you guys to keep in mind that I have been diagnosed with PCOS and I'm still figuring that out. So some things might be PCOS related and the more that I understand that, the more that I'll explain it to you. But the best that I can do is kind of just share my journey and where I'm at and let you guys know. Um, my buffalo hump is smaller, but it's still there. Guys, I really hope it's gone by the time I get married. I really do because I don't love it. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. I don't love having a buffalo hump. It definitely shrunk. It shrunk. And I, I'm hoping that as I continue to lose weight and work out and have a little bit more time and my pituitary wakes up, that it'll disappear. But I do not love it. Uh, what other symptoms? My acne is so much better. Um, and then my moods, I'm going to have a whole separate video about mental health. So that's going to be my next video. So if you guys are like, what about your mental health? Don't you worry. I've got that covered. Um, the hairiness also subsided for me, um, even though I do have PCOS. Uh, my levels now are pretty okay. I only have to meet with my doctor every three months. Um, so far, everything has been, like, my ACTH is still a little bit low, which means, as I've said, my pituitary hasn't fully woken up, but the rest of me is pretty okay. My cortisol has been in a normal range, like, nothing high or anything like that. And I haven't had any Cushing symptoms, but I think that it's kind of, after post-op, these, it changes, and the, it shifts. And I'm going to make another video all about that, too. I've got a whole list of videos for you guys, but that's where I'm at now. That's how I'm doing. So that's my just update 10 months out and I'm going to do a one year out. Um, I'm going to film on my one year anniversary of my tumor. So yeah, there we go guys.